Welcome, everybody, to a brand spanking new playthrough of Stellaris. Yes, that's right. Clark is out of the door. The Hearts of Iron train has died down a little bit. So let's focus on a thing that is a little bit more important. That is the conquest of the void, the great beyond, the final frontier. We're going to go to space. That's going to be an interesting one for this one. First of all, we're going to need to select our empire and actually get underway. Now, first, looking at our pre-selected uh, set things that we can do. Uh, I'm actually kind of interested in doing a fresh playthrough on a, on a brand new uh, species. We're going to go and cover these uh, particular empires that are pre-built in a separate video, mainly because these all have their own little campaigns attached to them. Yes, that's right. Every single species right here, all eight of them, have their own little mini campaign and event chain that is attached to them. Something we will actually touch upon uh, in the uh, in the accompanying videos. Now, at the end of this video, you will see a link to uh, several of these uh, empires that will be covered. But that's for the end of the video. Anyway, let's create a new empire and uh, let's get underway. First of all, we need to go for an appearance. I want to go for something different, something new, something that I haven't done before. I want to do mammalian, maybe mm, reptilian. Anthropod, no. I want to. I want to do something that's relatively recognizable. Um, you know, going Terran esque, like mammalian, humanoid. You know, this is all fine and good. However, I want to go for something a little bit more uh, interesting. Let's go for the fungoid. What's this? This is like a bear that's covered in crazy stuff or if we want to be really fun we can go this way like this crazy bird thing that's uh, pretty much a handover from city skylines anyway uh, we're gonna go for uh, these boys and uh, we're gonna go and try to take over the universe with them uh, I'm gonna go over the name uh, I'm gonna go with um, mm, space mm, no 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 how about um, bears yeah, bears. Plural. Uh, actually, let's go with bear. And plural is bears. And adjective is bear. I think that would would be fine. Yeah, that's that's all good. And then uh, we'll we'll set it up from there. On that point onwards, uh, the names uh, they don't really matter to me. Uh, let's go with uh, something crazy. Like, uh, just standard mammalian one is fine. Traits, however, this is where things get a little bit more interesting. Uh, let's start off with uh, removing some of these. Uh, let's, uh, re let's add slow breeders because then we get three points more. And uh, sedentary, what is that? Migration time and resettlement cost. Uh, let's go with sedentary as well. That means we have, we have two traits for two that we can pick up. So let's go with... I don't want to really go for adaptive because I don't really plan on expanding to a lot of uh, places. Uh, talented, mm, let's not go with that just well, uh, just yet. Uh, repugnant, uh, conformist, ethics divergence, very important to me, because I don't want to have our, uh, our species just rolling away. Although, let's go with venerable. Yeah, lifespan, plus 120 years. Lifespan, so important for a species. Uh, having leaders that can last forever uh, with all that experience in their pool, so incredibly useful, especially for researchers. Getting a plus, uh, getting a level five researcher or general is it's just such a consuming amount of time that it takes. And having the leader lifespan there added in is just such a bonus. It's, it's really, really good. Okay, uh, resilient garrison. That could actually let's not go with that. Let, we, we can we can always add do, do add that through tech uh, through technology. Army damage plus forty minerals plus ten. There we go. I want to go for a conquest setup. A uh, name, uh, Yapra Vagas sounds fine. A uh, ruler title. Um, I don't know. Let's go with um, Great Mount. I don't know. Mount. I, I don't really care. All right, let's go for Continental. Uh, let's roll with <laughs> Great Dwarf. Uh, let's not go for Great Dwarf. Actually, let's, let's randomize. I don't really care. Folsey. Yeah, this 
Tarath, that sounds sounds decent. Uh, random solar system. Uh, actually, let's go with Solv, so we have something to recognize. Uh, city appearance. Let's go for the Muscaloid cities, because they look relatively cool. Um, let's go for Militarist. Actually, Fanatic Militarist, because then we get uh, the pop modifier. For when we are at war, we gain happiness. And let's go for Xenomophobic. Xenophobe. Here we go. Xenophobia plus 10. There we go. And on top of that, I want to be a despotic empire, maybe, or military republic. Military junta is interesting. Ship costs. Uh, this is a little bit too close to each other. It doesn't really give me a lot of flexibility. What do we have here? What we can? What can we do here in terms of this? Um, oh, this is interesting. Spiritualistic. Theocratic Republic, Divine Mandate. Mm, a resettlement cost. I will kind of offset some of the other stuff. Individualist now because I want side jump drive. Materialists. Uh, collectivism. Mm, food consumption. Xenophile. What does that do? Yeah, well, obviously it does that, but. Uh, spiritualist. Let's go for xenophobic. Xenophobic! Fanatic militarists. This should be interesting. Military republic, ship upkeep, war happiness. Military junta, ship upkeep, also very good. Naval capacity plus 20% doesn't really matter because by the time we get to the mid game, we'll be at 1,000 anyway. Plutocratic oligarchy, yes, for the additional minerals. Uh, empire name, uh, Tyrath, I think that's fine. Tyrath. Actually, um,. Yeah, we can always rename them anyway if we come with something funny. Okay, flag. This is, of course, important. Uh, let's go with this one. It looks cool. And uh, a green background. Ah, I like this. That's good. Starting weapons. Uh, pff, projectiles, obviously. Uh, Isaac Newton is uh, is, is uh, your Isaac Newton's bitch in space. Although energy weapons, though. Eh, they didn't really for against shields. We have a if we go up against the mm, missile weapons, because then we can... Yeah, let's go with missile weapons, because fallen empires don't really use uh, any point defense, so missile weapons will be fine. Our 2 l weapon, uh, warp. Our ships. Mm, avian ships, or let's go for mammalian. Nice and simple. Perfect. We are bears. Slow breeders. Sedentary. But we're very strong. We're xenophobic. And it means we can have uh, alien slaves. That's nice. And uh, we're fanatic militarists, which is great. Cool. Let's get this party underway. Let's go for a medium galaxy. Uh, epileptical arms. Let's go for a spiral with four arms. Uh, yeah, with four arms is fine. Let's go for a little bit of aggressiveness here. AI Empire 17, difficulty, FDL method, any, and let's play this bad boy. All right, let's get this party underway. Eons since the first primitive bear communities took shape. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, let's get this party underway. First of all, we need to get our stuff under control. Um, planetary fortification. Let's go for research speed. It's important stuff. Colony ship. That goes without saying. Ooh, Batherium power plant. Right off the start. Engineering facility. It's kind of good. It gives us, you know, additional. Uh, it, it gives us additional uh, science, but Batharian energy right now because energy credits at the start of the game are going to be important. And let's uh, quickly have a look here at our surrounding area. Okay, we have managed to spawn at the base, almost at the base of the arm. Our initial goal will be to colonize all of this, take out anything here, and on top of that, we need to go and find where the fallen empires are why the fallen empires because of ring worlds baby that is what we want we want to go for the ring uh, ring worlds let's uh let's get our science ship to go and start research uh, start surveying the system we'll send out our first stellar fleet towards bernard star uh, we'll keep our construction ship relatively close towards the um science ship there we go and we'll keep on moving behind him as you can see here, I just click the uh, science ship. Basically, as soon as the science ship discovers anything, the uh, constructor will be in place very, very quickly. 
to uh, make sure that uh, we can start constructing. Okay, so what kind of bonuses do we have again here? Uh, ship details. We get missiles, explosive, that's fine. Chemical thrusters, warp drive, uh, damage, 5.45 per second. That's all good. Let's check out our first stars in the neighborhood. We're kind of on the edge of the arm here, so this area down here could potentially be interesting. Also a huge problem, obviously, because you know there could be enemies down there. Let's take a look at what we got. Okay, so first off, Baron, 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 Frozen, Baron. Great start here. Alba Centauri, let's go over there. In the meantime, let's take a look at the capital world. Spaceport, do we need to do anything here? No, we cannot. As well as, what do we need here? We only have plus two energy credits. It's because we undocked our fleet from the orbit of the planet. Have we discovered anything yet? No, construction ship is still following. I need energy, but I don't want to spend anything on mineral. Hostile fleet detected. Excuse me. What do we got? Alpha Centauri. We've got. Okay, yeah, enigmatic spacefarers. That's fine. All right, let's take a look here. What do we got? So it's just standard alien stuff, and they're in our solar system. Okay, so Alpha Centauri has a level three planet. Don't know habitability. Plus 15 is fine. Uh, that's fairly big. Continental world, we won't know much about that until we survey it. But we have a, we have a nice idea what's going on here. Okay, let's continue. Hostile fleet. Are you serious? Uh, let's speed stand. Passive. Construction stands. Passive as well. system okay and the construction ship is still right on top here something is pinging me and I do not like it excuse me about that this should be sorted now perfect alright so let's continue on let's go for fast here so we can get some faster stuff on the way what do we got a habitable world it's tropical but we currently cannot colonize it's Size 24, that's huge. Interesting, very good. Of course, I'm currently looking for that first Gaia world. Soon we can get to find a Gaia world here. We are pretty much uh, pretty much good to go. And we're just casually going around trying to find a world anomaly here. Found. Okay, we got Anomaly. Failure risk is way too high. We'll leave it for now. But it does mean it's on Mars. Uh, we don't have enough skill yet on our, on our research unit yet, so we'll leave it for now, because it will be useful. It's actually in Uranus. Fascinating. Precursor anomaly. Science of precursor activity. Fascinating. Still don't have any resources. This is not looking too good. Okay, what do we got here? Arctic world. We've got a continental world. Still haven't made first contact yet. Let's take a look here. Alpha Menace will cost us society research. We don't want to do that just yet. Why, you ask? Well, there's a good reason for this. Why we're not doing, doing it is because we need the society research to uh, get our first technology in society underway, which is the New World's, New World's Protocol. New World's Protocol, obviously. Ooh, what's this? There's an unidentified empire here. Situation Okay, we got some aliens. Alien Menace. There's Tundra World here. Not important. Let's continue on. Hmm, what's this? Okay, so we've got ourselves a Void and another Alien Menace. The Space Whales. Nothing to be con too worried about. Okay, we'll continue on. I'm kind of worried about this uh, this world down here. We'll keep away from that for now and try to colonize around it. We got here again void. Just trying to get the hell out of there. Good. Situation again. <sighs> alien menace. Gamma aliens. Continental world. Fifteen. Yes. Okay. We got a level. Good. How are we doing here? Okay. Venus has some energy crystals, and our science leader. As soon as he's done. He can go to Uranus. It's 20% risk, which is doable. 
Again, another enemy fleet. Again, another void. Interesting. We're just bouncing around here. We want to stay away from this 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 world for now. We don't want to make first contact because that will spawn there. What went on here? There's a big ring system here. Yeah, we don't want to. We want to. Don't want to hit first contact because that will spawn the uh, the influence map here. We want to stay nice and away from them. Try to colonize around them if possible, and uh, try to take uh, as much territory as possible really before we go for first contact. Let's research this. Why was this research? Actually, let's not research it just yet. Let's continue with the system survey. After that, we can go for the research here and research here. So the easy one first, just to go in case we get another tech level and then you reign a second. So we we'll see if we can get another bonus there. Right now, I'm not using building any construction stuff, mainly because I want to get energy first. Like minerals are fine. Like getting that ticked up is good, but we need to get those energy energy storage up, because uh, if energy is becoming a problem, we may need to go and dock. Okay, so this will this system has not been surveyed. Looks like we've got some decent stuff here. Let's uh, continue going onwards here. See what we can find. Once again, we're ignoring these boys. Okay, so let's take a look here what the research ship is doing. We got energy. Okay, so let's go to Europa and build a mining station here. You can go your own way now, buddy. There we go. You can build a mining station. As soon as that is done, we got 250 credits. Uh, is there waiting for Neptune and Triton to be researched, surveyed even? As soon as that is done, if no minerals pop up, System we can go for Venus. Complete. Okay, anomaly. we got ourselves an anomaly and three anomalies in the starting system as well. That's pretty decent. Okay, so Triton and yeah, let's set that up. That's a 32% risk vector though. That's pretty 32%. That's that's pretty high. Okay, what do we got? Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, this system again is empty okay what do we got again another void cloud alien okay, we have potential under alien species want to avoid them for as long as possible right now continental world 19 there's a continental world 12 and a continental world 15 this is our this is our prime target for the moment Sirius is our prime goal for now so as soon as we're done here in uh, in our capital we'll go for uh, this world right here and see if we can start colonizing it as soon as possible because the size of it makes it very interesting to us size 19 is huge and our sadly enough our capital fleet is starting to get a little bit too far away from home but so far so so far so good what do we got here continental 11 it's really not all that interesting Scavengers already scoured the... Uh, okay, so we have a con something interesting here. So Jupiter and Io both have a large amount of resources available. Saturn as well. So I'm just going to go back and forth. Get energy here, get minerals there, get energy here, get minerals there. Just to gradually build up our income. We're just encountering an uh, aliens all across the... All across the place. There's another alien species. Let's uh, again go around them. Uh, this will be our first goal. This is our new slave population down here. Yeah. Very good stuff so far. Very good stuff so far. Let's take a look at uh, our stuff that we can do on our surface here. Do we have any energy? Yes, we do. So let's start building these. Uh, let's tearing these down. We just literally had enough energy credits to get that rolling, which was uh, lucky on our for us. Mm, we should have probably gone for Jupiter in this case. Gives me one more uh, mineral per tick, which is pretty good. First League, we've discovered artifacts of an alien civilization on Uranus. What I've learned from these artifacts is a civilization of some sort of confederacy that consists of many different alien races. They call themselves the First League and appear to be coexisting in a relative peace some two million years ago. 
Throughout the system lies a region of space that seems to have made up the core of their territory. A partial map among the artifacts indicates that this is the first league may have covered a significant portion of our galaxy before it eventually Situation collapsed. All right, let's take a look here. Investigate the precursors. So we have the precursor first league. We need to find six uh, first league artifacts and then call it a day. So let's see what we can get here. We have an alien world here, another constant continental place. It's a Zeta aliens. I'm not all that interested. I'm still trying to find a Gaia world. So we need to find a Gaia world. I'm just jumping that hizzle. Like that is prime real estate and I need it. How long? 38 months. So just over three years. Construction complete. Okay, Tyraf has done some construction. Uh, we can't build anything yet. We need 51. We currently get 10 per tick, which is fine. Uh, we will stick to orbit around Venus. We got our additional uh, minerals on top of that. Okay, so this is fine. Nothing too crazy here. There's a couple of ocean worlds. Plus 20. Wow, that's a pretty big one. That's a really good one, actually. May want to think about terraforming that at some point. Uh, the other worlds we've got are 9, 8, tiny, 25, an Arctic world, level 25 Arctic planet. That's massive. Uh, yeah, we're definitely going to try to colonize this bad boy. It's really close to our core world as well. Very nice. Uh, this is a pulsar. Uh, it's a barren world. Nothing interesting happens there. And uh, let's continue on exploring towards the down here. Here we go. Salty, the science ship, came up with the regards to its original mission to investigate. Oh, this is the salt thing. <laughs> However, a self-claimed gourmet chef and histor history buff claims it made an important discovery. A chemical pound compound found on the surface ice layers in several regions of Triton. It's all just supposedly closely related to bear star salt, an ingredient integral for many bear dishes and thought to be extinct. Very good. River to salt, analyze, synthesize, bare salt, little consequence. Traditional foods now possess more historically accurate flavor profiles. Oh, that's, that's nice. Happiness, plus five, 420 months. Hooray! We're looking good. We're looking very good. Well, while we continue on exploring the galaxy, I want to go and uh, wrap up this video. It's been, uh, it's been uh, so long so far, so long so good. We've found two alien species, or even three alien species. These two are really, really close together. Maybe there was an advanced start over here. That is worrying considering the amount of aggression I've set up over here. But still, it's looking very, very good. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take good care of yourselves and each other. Thank you so much for watching. In this episode, we cover such things as starting your first game. And on top of that, the special alien races that are pre-selectable at the uh, setup screen. Also, we covered such things as your first years and how to move about. Feel free to click on one of the links to find out more on these subjects.